Hello, my name is Jody West, and I wrote my paper over Aristotle. Um, Aristotle was a Greek philosopher. He was born in a city called Stagira, if I'm saying that right, in around 384 BC. And his father um, chose his name, and the name has a meaning of with great purpose, which I found to be quite fitting for Aristotle. Um, his he because he's still one of the most world renowned philosophers to this day. So obviously his purpose turned out to be turned out to be pretty important. Um, his father was a court specimen, a court physician, excuse me, who collected specimens, um, among other things other doctoring things he did, and he doctored many different people, everyone of the court, and Aristotle as a child was very interested in the specimens that his father collected, but not really the medicine part. Um, which, you know, people found that to be a little interesting. Um, there's really not a lot of evidence of his childhood in general because of the time frame. Um, you know, but, uh, and there's just, and the, there's no, no, there was no real pictures of him, but this is a sculpture of him that's, the most popular one that you'll see today about what he looks like. And I've shared a few quotes that seems to be what people automatically think of when they hear Aristotle is they think of something that they've heard him say because he has many, many famous quotes. And one of my favorites is, educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. And the quote that I actually used for my opening thesis on my paper was, Courage is the first of human qualities because it's the quality which guarantees the others. Um, he, uh, like I said before, his um, childhood and early childhood education is a little um, rocky and the, you know, the fuzzy fuzziness of that. But whenever he was an adult, he, or entering adulthood, he went to the academy in Athens under the mentor of Plato, where he studied there, studied philosophy there for around 20 years. And while he was there, he began to think about and develop his own philosophy. Um, Aristotle basically believed that all humans shared a common sameness in that they, you know, their mind wanted to know more, even though at the time what they were kind of being taught and what Plato believed was that you know, the answer to everything in life was all religious, and Aristotle thought outside the box more, you could say. Um, he defined, uh, he believed that all humans had a defining quality, which was the power of rationality, or the power to be rational. Um, and so, and that's what he believed. Um, his first school he opened was called the Lyceum, and he opened it up in Athens, and he was considered a foreigner in Athens. And so because of that, he never had his own building or location. So he conducted schools in walkways and on gatherings and basically just wherever he could have class. Um, but he shared, all, the, all of his students shared many common interests with him, um, including natural sciences and stuff like that. Um, for Aristotle, the purpose of school was to develop and exercise students' potential potential for reasoning, which goes back to that rational thing, um, form ethical character and provide a skill and knowledge base. Um, much of what we know about Aristotle in general comes from his lecture notes. Um, he was extremely lecture-oriented and extremely organized. Um, his schooling he had cut into three stages. The first stage was primary elementary, the secondary, um, secondary education, and then, the, of course, the higher education that we know about today. Um, Aristotle was a philosopher whose life was guided by his thirst for knowledge, and he believed that everyone had that same thirst for knowledge inside them, and that some people, you know, chose to ignore it and go along with what all was being taught. Um, he was motivated by his love for truth, and he believed that everyone felt this way. And his driving question was, why do human beings want to know? Why are we so curious? Um, Aristotle was able to take Plato's philosophical and educational ideas as a jumping point off 
jumping point and change them throughout his life to become his own personal philosophy. Whereas Plato believed truth was found within the mind, Aristotle looked to the world outside the mind to find evidence of what was true. Perhaps this is all what makes Aristotle's quote about courage the most fitting for him, was that he was able to just look past, you know, what was being taught and, you know, have the courage to kind of stand up and say, hey, you know, what else, what else is out there? There has to be more than this. So, thank you.